What's going on everybody? This is MV here back with another video. And for this video, I want to talk about this comment that I received. So as you can see this comment on the screen, this comment was left on one of my more recent uploads and it was under the video where the title was, they do not get a free pass to be racist. So in that video actually did pretty well within the algorithm and a lot of eyes caught that video. And a lot of comments and a lot of commentary is going to come with that. So let's get into this comment right here that was left on that video. So we have here the username is a capo 115. He puts, so now the mixed kids want to wipe out everything that's made them and laughing emojis. I'm not sure why he's referencing kids. Like I'm pretty sure my platform, I'm not pretty sure I'm a hundred percent certain my platform is specifically uh, geared for adults. I'm an adult and this is not a kid friendly platform per se. It's a public platform, but I don't know the reference he's using here. Kids like who are you calling a kid? And then continuing on, he puts, you can't make this S up the AI trying to end his creator. And he does like the shaking, uh, shake my head emoji. It's still a color issue says it's y'all with the issues y'all mixed up like your DNA laughing emojis you guys see that remember i told you about these monoracial uh, black supremacists where it's common for them to say you guys are confused you guys are mixed up and then here he's basically a black supremacist purist he's saying you're mixed up like your dna laughing emojis and he puts here they want a flag now we've had a flag for the past 20 years a lot of us didn't even know that we have a flag but what's the issue that we have a flag or that we quote unquote want a flag now how is that an issue that we want a symbol that represents us when that's everybody else gets to have that and he's okay with that this black supremacist he's okay with the lgbt people having the rainbow flag as their symbol this black supremacist is okay with even uh, subgroups within black society like the fba the fbas have their own flag the you know hebrew israelites have their own flag the moors all these uh, sub uh, black subgroups in their in the culture they have their own flags that they use to represent them. Even white Americans, there's some flags they adapt, uh, adopted that kind of uh, symbolizes them. Like, you know, the don't trend on me, et cetera, the Patriot kind of flags, banners. So everybody has their flags to represent them specifically. But now that mulattoes want a symbol, a symbol to relinquish ourselves from the influence of the communita and the struggle victim mentality people, we want our own symbol that unites us to so someone like that. See, that's a threat now because they want us to be underneath them, begging them. And then finishing off, he puts WTF. What the F all this stuff going on in the world. And these people are crying about dark skinned people. I mean, how, the thing about the crying, like the emphasis on crying, when I'm pointing out the hypocrisy and the degeneracy and the racism with a lot of you people, how is that crying? I'm pointing out, like even, it's so funny because even in this comment you left me, you giving me proof, exhibit A, where you put mixed up like your DNA, right? But then you turn around and say, well, you, all the stuff going on in the world, you people are crying about dark skin. I'm not crying about you people. I'm pointing out, I'm showing your racism, your prejudice and your anti mixed race uh, rhetoric. And then he puts, you ain't no better than them. Idiots do the same thing. I mean, basically a foolish, stupid comment. But like I said, I feel like it's kind of warranted for a response with this video. Great content. So I definitely appreciate the people, even the bad comments, the stupid comments and the good ones, because uh, it definitely gives me a lot more uh, material to talk about. But this is exhibit A of the foolishness. They're mad. All the laughing emojis he has here. They're mad that we want to galvanize around something that unifies us and also to basically distinguish ourselves independently away from their influence. Okay. A lot of them, these type of black supremacist types, because he literally just told, laughed at you, all you people, all you mulattoes listening to me. He laughed at you and said, you guys are all mixed up like your DNA. Now, do you feel comfortable going to the cookout with a guy like that? <laughs> who's going to look at you suspiciously or secretly. He's going to show his animosity towards you, mainly the men. Because I'm pretty sure that's a man, dark skinned man, mainly the men he's not going to like. That's why he's threatened by me with the whole mulatto flag thing, right? Because he wants the women. We all know these people, right? They don't like the men because they want the women. Now, the black women, 
they don't like the mixed women because the mixed women are the preference to the black man. See, it's their animosity, the black, dark skinned black woman's animosity towards mixed race women is not because that dark skinned black queen wants the mixed race man. She wants the dark skinned black man, but the dark skinned black man prefers the mixed race woman. That's a preference. So therefore, the dark skinned woman's jealous. And that's, you know, we all can see this. We all can articulate it. It's very public. OK, there's no secrets here. And also, before I go, I wanted to point something out as well. So I went over to his channel, right? And I clicked the video section and I'm not surprised. What do I see? I see that he's a video gamer. Remember what I told you guys, you can analyze most of these pro wax, the men specifically, because when you look at the pro black women, you come to find out that they have like a, <laughs> a white boyfriend or white partners in the past, right? It's very common, but they're so pro black, but yet their partners are non-black like the BLM leaders. But when you look at the men like the Tariq Fraud Sheeds and some of these other pro whack men, they're playing video games. They got a bunch of video games. They have all this time in the world to play video games, as you can see here in his channel. So he has the video game Hitman 3, Silent Assassin. He has Detroit uh, Become Human, The Truth in Games. And then, of course, he has here Yakuza. So my speculation is spot on with a lot of these characters because I see it on all the other social media platforms as well. These pro wax, they're so pro black. They're all up in biracial people's business. We look at them. It's like they're smoking weed, playing video games, chasing light skinned women. And also take a look at this. This caught my attention. So it looks like a video he posted from three years ago. You can see the title. It says another and then he capitalizes Becky on the loose. Now, we know Becky is basically a racial slur, a term used to identify a white woman. They also use Karen. Typically, there's an age difference. Karen are the kind of the older white women, but then the Becky would be the younger one. So we see the racism this guy showing, the biases on his channel, where he's highlighting a Becky on the loose, on the loose, a Becky, like video games, complaining about white people. But he found my video. He found my channel. And he's saying that you're mixed up like your DNA. You got a problem with dark skin. <laughs> the projection with a lot of these characters is on fleek. But I wanted to point that out because, you know, there's a lot of people who whine and cry about me. But then we look at th those people. You're sitting there like, wait a second, your ass, you're not innocent. You're sitting on your butt playing video games. And then you're sitting here talking crap about Becky's. And then you're crying about being a victim. And a lot of these people, my detractors, they're not so clean themselves. They have a lot of animosity and a lot of negative things to say, and they generalize a lot of people as well. So the fact biracials are here now, we're establishing something so you can just stay mad. Just wanted to give you guys something to ponder on. Let me know what you guys think. Post a comment and I'll talk to you guys next time. Adios.